and where is it? Cocaine bear. Cocaine bear. <laughs> what did I give it? I gave it a rating on Gilded. <laughs> yeah, my neighbor's practicing. My neighbor's practicing downstairs. My neighbor's practicing. Yeah. Pop -pop, piano man's playing. Sunday afternoon. <laughs> nice. I like it. We'll probably get a, what do you call it, copyright notice on sensor tube. <laughs> when I was doing the cooking live stream, got copyright notice. Hilarious. Uh, must be negative. Uh, I kind of says Nagushka. Nothing to discuss about this meme movie. Zero out of ten. Nagushka gives zero out of ten. What? <laughs> Elder God's loving it. Gofa's 100 out of 10. <laughs> that balances it out. <laughs> Elder God, thanks, Chicho. My pleasure, brother. My pleasure. Nancy Mitchell, this 80s movie aged well. <laughs> Hilarious. It could be, this could have been an 80s movie. For sure. For sure. Uh, Sa. Kali Kalifaya on Sensitive says this movie is stupid but funny. I agree. I agree. Stupid but funny. Is it as good as some of the other sort of animal uh, B funny slasher movies like uh, Lake Placid or Eight Legged Freaks? Not as good as Eight Legged Freaks. Eight Legged Freaks is amazing. Spiders, giant spiders and stuff. Lake Placid was funny really funny same type of funny as this but i give lake placid a higher rating right i say in this genre in this genre i'm gonna give you guys my my rating right now because people are giving zeros and 100 out of 10 i say in this genre i give it a 6.5 out of 10 okay Elder God set in 1985, but had all the wrong social constructs. Yeah, I wasn't looking at it for social construct. It was, I like, one of the things I liked about it, it wasn't woke. It didn't do woke at all. Like there's no woke in this movie, right? Which is rare on that front. Not that I remember anyway. And some of the scenes were so damn funny. Was the bear just going insane on it? Just the beginning part where the guy's throwing the cocaine bags out. He's like, boom, dancing, doing his thing. <laughs> Goes to jump out and knocks himself out. It was a slap. It was a slapstick. You weren't expecting it. Icono, do you have a English name for a movie that are so bad they become classics? Um... Do we have a what would the English name be for that? There is, right? Dancing visual. I can't, uh, I ain't watching on sp spider movies. I can't watch spider movies. <laughs> I saw so much woke. I almost went blood. Did you? I didn't. I didn't see too much woke at all. I didn't see any woke. Not that I remember, right? Calfia, Califia. I got to check out both of those movies. Lake Placid, Eight Legged Freaks. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Lake Placid is super fun. And Eight Legged Freaks is hilarious. It's got some crazy funny <laughs> scenes. Like, really. So good. Nagushka, for sure. Lake Placid had the advantage of being released at the turn of the century, which was arguably Hollywood's final golden age. Not a fan of Oliver Platt, but it was still enjoyable at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I liked the uh, Lake Placid. Icono. In French, uh, we call it Nanar. Nanar, really? It's so bad, it's good. Like, oh, here. One movie, it's so bad. I've I've seen it three times. <laughs> it's, it's called Life Force. The original name of the movie was Vampires from Outer Space. It is so bad. I've watched it three times, and I might watch it again. <laughs> That's how bad it is. <laughs> That's a nanor movie. <laughs> uh, Cheryl, call classic to some extent. Yeah, call classic. Call classic would be. Uh, the word for 
Nanar, the French version, called Classic. Chi ha, how are we doing? Salut, Chicho, loving the streams. Any uh, any snackers? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got walnuts and big fat raisins. Walnuts and big fat ra raisins. Really good. Really good. Doesn't want to focus because there it is. Really good. Walnuts and big fat raisins. Love eating these together. Slayer dot. When I saw No Time to Die a few months ago, months after it released, I was surprised by how quickly the sideline bonds black uh, successor as 007 after everyone made such a huge deal about how a black woman couldn't become 007 they probably did that just to rile up the anti-woke crowd to drum up interest uh and to get the woke camp interested was it yeah i wrote off you know sorry sorry our british british uh uh community uh, people from uh uk and stuff I, I wrote off 007 years ago. I just don't enjoy them. Uh, haven't watched one for at least 15 years. It just, it, the last, one of the last ones I saw was, that this was the, actually the last James Bond one I saw where whoever the James Bond character was is running down uh, on a dock into the ocean, I guess running along the dock and a helicopter is bent like this and his propellers are breaking up the dock i'm like f f like at least an effort to not be so ridiculous like if you made it a funny show if it, if you're selling it as a humorous like something like cocaine bear okay but you're trying to make this serious it was garbage anyway that's a different movie and to get the woke cam which was a samurai cop is a call classic samurai cop i can't remember samurai cop uh i, I remember what's that movie the oh man it's a it, it, elder god you'll know this uh the it's a chinese guy who it's it's a tribute to jackie chan movies who's uh has flour and they think it's cocaine and he's trying to get it from one place to another but it's chinese flour what's it called i can't remember index index gunder the judge of executioners hi mister oh dude boo ludex boo on sensor tube <laughs> clown we got a clown on sensor tube <laughs> Elder God, somewhere. Elder God, Cocaine Bear was about motherhood, neglected by a father, and how it creates criminals. What? That's what you got out of that? No way, Elder God. A mother was about a mother neglected by a father, and how it creates criminals because there was no father and there was drugs. No, come on, no. You can't read that much into it. Do you read that much into it? I would still pay to be watching you watching Cocaine Bear with Cheryl in the room. We'd be drinking and watching you tear out your hair. Funny, funny Nagushka. Bond died with uh, Piers uh, Bosn Bosna's final Bond movie for me. Yeah, Slayer. The oh yeah, the world is not enough. Was that the was that the one? So bad, so bad. Elder God. All the main male characters were suffering from loneliness after not committing to family were they <laughs> no then what about that <laughs> one of the best scenes in cocaine bear was the ambulance when he came to pick up <laughs> pick up to see what's going on <laughs> the bear was chasing the ambulance that was an amazing scene that character wasn't that character wasn't he was a he was a male guy <laughs> he got torn apart but <laughs> <laughs> Califia, not the out of the wetlock crack mama bear. <laughs> I love it. I was so enraged. Were you all the god? My god, you were like cocaine bear. 
<laughs> Slayer Knight. I started reading the Jane, uh, James Bond books this year. Would highly recommend. Really? Really? It's funny. Uh, da, 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 da. Slayer Knight. I don't care about the racism, misogyny, xenophobia, etc. in the Bond books. I care about the travelogue elements and learning about history from them. <laughs> Sure, okay, I must admit to yelling at my screen in the beginning of Cocaine Bear. Dumbass was literally dropping cocaine over three counties. <laughs> and he tried, and he's like, I'm, I'm assuming they went, wow, in the 1980s, would they have little trackers on them? Probably, who knows. But yeah, it was like, <laughs> I loved it. It was so funny. It was so funny. They call me Bruce, Dancing Vigil. Yes, they call me Bruce. Gang, you want a cult classic. One of the greatest fucking movies ever. 10 out of 10, right? In any genre. <laughs> they call me Bruce. Fantastic movie. Fantastic movie. <laughs> oh my God, it's all I saw. You've gone dark, brother. You've gone dark. Funny, Cheryl. Uh, Jesus, Elder God, if that's why you got, no wonder you think it was woke. <laughs> Hilarious. Elder God, even the black cop got woke to I think I'm laughing more during this than Cocaine Bear, but there was some seriously funny Cocaine Bear scenes, man. No wonder. I was wondering why he didn't like it, man. I was wondering what was going on. Like, why Why would you hate it so much? Ali, salutations. Hi, good evening all. Salutations on Sensor 2. Hope you're doing good, brother. Hope you're doing good. <laughs> Slayer Darth. For me, the worst Bond film is Moonraker. Uh, but I think that's uh, partly because the Bond book of the same name is one of the best thrillers i've ever read really wow wow cheryl oh my god that was a wild scene the girl <laughs> was full sympathy cringe <laughs> it was amazing seriously one of the funniest scenes in cult classic i guess it's not a cocaine bear cult classic could become a cult classic we see we see but that scene with when they go into that whole scene from the beginning when the ambulance comes up and they're going what's going on here all the way to the ambulance crash it's about a good 10 minute scene probably i can't remember the timing on it that was a laugh out loud funny that was hilarious so funny elder god you gotta watch that scene elder god i i didn't get what, what didn't she get? Da, da, da. I didn't get the end of a uh, of movie. I cut out with uh, Asian uh, paramedics get killed. I was actually supporting them. <laughs> what a part. <laughs> also, Cheryl, oh, that cop was so dear with that dog. And then the bad uh, Hilarious. Slayer Darth, I gotta allow your your comment. Uh, set, uh, Twitch uh, locked it. Uh, Slayer Darth, carry. He never served in the intelligence service. Cheryl, as soon as I saw the actress for uh, Ranger Liz, I knew it was gonna be good. She's awesome. Uh, so she was really good. The, 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 the chubby one smoking cigarettes, right? That's the one? She's, she, I like her. Super funny, super funny. Slayer Darth. I got on my reading list The Day of the Jackal by Frederick uh, Froyster, which is about a French Algerian terrorist ha hiring an elusive hitman to kill French President Charles. They, they made the movie. Did you like the movie? I've seen it and I've been meaning to read some of the John Le Carre book, like the spy who who came in from the cold i consider reading some of tom clancy's book but he seems too pro-american to me yeah i didn't read i haven't read any of that stuff cheryl you missed ray's death <laughs> yep, yep 
I channel that woman when I need to be a mean mama. Ha ha ha. <laughs> awesome. 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 It was a good movie. It was a good movie, gang. Yeah. It was a good movie. If you want humor, get. Do not look at it through the lens of Elder God. <laughs> That will distort. That will make life extremely difficult. <laughs> the only God. Day of the Jackal is my favorite movie. Is it? Day of the Jackal is your favorite movie? Wait a second. Are we thinking about the same one? The black and white or the remake? I think there was a remake one, wasn't it? I might think about the right one. Slayer Darth. I haven't seen the film version of Day of the Jackal yet. Wow, wow. Dancing visual. Uh, Ray Liotta took method acting once. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Slayer that I've seen the remake with Richard Gere and Bruce Willis, which was uh, pretty terrible. I actually didn't mind the remake. I didn't mind the remake. The original I haven't seen forever, but uh, from what I remember, it was brilliant. Peanut butter pumpkin party salutations. I dressed up as a bear once. Based the based the movie off of me. At the party. <laughs> you can do it again. <laughs> you can do it again. Fun. What's your ratings on this gang? What's your ratings on this? I give it a six and a half out of ten. In this genre, six and a half out of ten. Six and a half out of ten. And do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange, publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. Something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or countless resources available online. Oh God, they are making a Jackal TV miniseries as we speak. Really? Wow, wow, wow. Cheryl, eight in cult classic, six otherwise. Really? You, you think eight cult classic? That good? Have you seen Eight-Legged Freaks and Lake Placid? Elder God, one out of ten. One out of ten, he says. Slayer Darth. Oh, nice, Elder God. <laughs> Slayer Darth. <laughs> oh, funny, funny. The T J Jackal TV miniseries. We'll see how if it's if it's good or not. No, no, not yet. Oh, you haven't seen it, it, Cheryl Eight Legged Freaks. Watch it. Dancing Vigil. Ten out of ten. Just to annoy other God. <laughs> Give us a good laugh. Slayer that. Why can't we have that sort of humor anymore? Um, Oh, the dancing slayer that you know what uh, what kind of uh, comedy I miss the old Pink Panther films were Peter said 100% the original Pink Panther absolutely brilliant so effing good so effing good and Peter Peter Sellers one of the greatest actors ever 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 Cheryl just for the wild swings uh, from no to gut busting laughter <laughs> <laughs> Index Gandhi, the judge of executions, quick shot of propaganda. He uh, don't want to spend ten minutes without making it. Oh God, <laughs> we got we got a clown on censor too. I got a, I got some clowns uh, posting on censor too because they either paid whatever or whatnot. Uh, I. It is what it is. It is what it is. You don't get too much of that on free speech platforms too much. But it is what it is. People are allowed to speak their mind. Right? Easy 9.8 temporary piece. You give it 9.8 out of 10. 9.8 out of 10. Go game. Just the gang. The poster alone is fantastic. This is one of the greatest movie posters ever. Really. Look at the poster. Cocaine bear. If I ever, uh, Slayer, Dice, if I ever have kids, I can show them the old Pink Panther films because they show you, you don't need to rely on smut or foul language for last. One hundred percent, so good, so good. Elder God, I'm watching. Yeah, Elder God, it's okay. The guy's, uh, he's just pissed about some of the opinion of eighty percent of the world that I'm posting on censor to, and. Uh, 
he's a history denier, right? But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Ryan MC, people are allowing to speak their mind within the confines of sensor tube. Yeah, I know. <laughs> One of them, there's two of them on sensor tube, was saying that, uh, that he wanted to have an open discussion on sensor tube. <laughs> It's like, wait a second, where have you been for the last like eight years? Open discussion on sensor tube, crazy. Uh, Burpees, you haven't even seen it yet. 9.8 out of 10 based on the poster. Funny, funny, funny. Slayer, include. By the way, uh, Ludex, thank you very much. You and your partner that are trash talking some of the videos I'm putting out on sensor tube, because the more comments you make, the better for my. Uh, analytics and it kicks up my videos even more <laughs> so i appreciate the comments and the interaction on sensor tube it helps me get more views and make more money <laughs> appreciate it <laughs> hilarious <laughs> going for fuck's sake the kids took yeah the kids uh, they didn't take cocaine they chewed on it they didn't know all right they didn't know <laughs> They're making a cocaine shark. I believe they're not. I'll watch that. I'll watch it. Hilarious. Hilarious. Sir, include a shot in the dark. Chicho, uh, Cheryl, Chicho, I'm sorry. This is off topic, but I've been meaning to share. The kiddo uh, joined speech and debate and the free speech club at his school. Nice. Awesome. 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 That's good. Uh, learning how to present in front of an audience is phenomenal it should be one of the essentials they teach in school but they don't they put people on, on the on the way they do it <sighs> insane uh, totally unprompted for me proud mom moment for sure awesome awesome Allegot sid is killed oh no slayer darth my friend uh partook in debating club at his secondary school and he was uh, talking about why the soviet union was bad and he simply said quote friends do you not remember the hall <laughs> holomondor holomondor that's the ukraine uh, starvation thing right no i want to go back on sensor to dancing vigil now you want to go back <laughs> hilarious gang okay cocaine bear we got haters we got lovers we got people in the people in the in the mid ranges okay next movie let's bring out the next movie let's bring out the next movie let's go let's go should we go we got two humor one heavy what should we do we got two humor one heavy should we change the tune and go with the heavy heavy what say you what say you <laughs> <laughs> 